So let's just start with our first few techniques. So if you just make yourself really, really comfortable, and we're just going to start just by waking up the face a little bit now. So we're just going to take our hands and we're just going to tap very gently on the neck. By doing it's just by doing a little bit of breathing just grounding ourselves and then I'll talk to you just a little bit about my journey into face yoga and then we'll get going with some of our face yoga techniques so if you make yourself nice and comfortable it's really nice just to ground both feet onto the floor and just lengthen up through your spine so almost imagine a string going up through your center it's coming up through the top of the head everything's lengthening up just close your eyes a moment, or you can just bring your gaze down to your lap, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Just relax the shoulders down, away from the ears. You can have your chin just very slightly tucked in, just so it elongates the back of the neck, but just feel the chest opening a little bit. And I just want you to focus on your breath now. So just taking a nice, long, deep breath in through the nose just allow your abdomen to rise and then a long deep breath out just allowing your abdomen to lower so i want you to breathe in for about a count of four and then breathe out for about a count of six just really bring yourself into the room, into the present moment. You can even allow yourself to become aware of any sounds or sensations or feelings around you or within you. Just being as present as you possibly can. And as you breathe here, in your mind, I would love for you just to set an intention for today's workshop. So perhaps a way you'd like to feel by the end. Maybe there's a word which is resonating with you now. Whatever it feels right for you, just set that intention. Maybe you want to feel relaxed, maybe energised, maybe you're here to learn, to be inspired. Whatever it is, just set that intention. then whilst you're still breathing deeply with that intention, I just want you to focus for a moment on your face and how your face is feeling today. So just scanning your face in your mind's eye and just notice how your forehead feels don't need to change it or judge it just simply become aware simply notice just make that mental note so we'll revisit this all again at the end so you'll probably have noticed some changes at the end and your eyes notice how the area in and around your eyes are feeling and your cheeks make that mental note how are the muscles feeling? How's the skin feeling? Maybe you don't feel anything at all and that's fine as well. Just make that mental note. And then your jaw area. Is there any tension in the jaw? If there is, you may be ready to let it go now. If not, you can let it go as we go through the class. And the neck and shoulder area, again, just become aware, notice, how is it feeling today? Just go back to the breath for a moment. It's a long, deep breath in as your abdomen rises. Long, deep breath out as the abdomen lowers. You're going to try and breathe like this throughout your face yoga practice. 
It's going to help our mind, body, soul, spirit, face, everything. And I'll remind you of breath as we go through as well. Maybe just repeat your intention once more to yourself now. And then when you're ready, you can just gently open your eyes. So let your eyes are just back to the light for a moment. So before we get into our face yoga, I'd love to just share with you a little bit about why I have such a passion for face yoga and for sharing and teaching it. So my journey started when I was 21, so 19 years ago. I just left university and I became really unwell. I got glandular fever and then I got ME and I was very much housebound and bedridden. I was in huge amounts of pain, um, huge amounts of fatigue and doctors didn't really know what to do for me. Um, there was no medication they could give me and they said, you know, you might just get over this in a few weeks it may be with you for the rest of your life and I was so unwell but I was also someone that was a very very stressed person um, even at that age I realized that I would really push myself far too much in so many areas of my life and I think that combined with the virus made me just completely burnt out and I really wanted to heal myself and I definitely wasn't into anything holistic, natural yoga. I hadn't even heard of yoga before, believe it or not. And someone said to me, why don't you try a bit of yoga? Because I was so unwell, I couldn't do very much, but I got a yoga video tape and I just started doing a little bit of deep breathing, a little bit of gentle stretching in bed. And I remember now, looking back, that actually as soon as I started to breathe properly, it was like this little light bulb moment and I thought, I think I can heal myself. I think I can use techniques like this to get better, to relieve myself from all this stress, all this pain in my body. And that started a massive journey for me into lots of different ways of holistically healing myself. So everything from affirmations to visualizations to changing the way I ate, hugely changing my mindset with things, but also reaching out to lots of other professionals, everything from acupuncture to life coaches to massage. And within 18 months, I was healthier and stronger and happier than ever before. And I'd really cured myself from this illness. And I knew that I'd gone through that for a reason. I did my degree in education. I always knew I wanted to teach but I didn't know how or why. And I went through that and I thought there must be other people out there that want to learn these really simple and effective techniques, whether it be to overcome an illness like I'd gone through or just to feel healthier and happier. And I then went on and did training first in relaxation therapy. And then I did training in yoga. And over the years, I've taken lots and lots of different holistic trainings, face massage, Reiki and so on. And I first started teaching a lot of yoga and meditation classes. And I remember when I did my yoga teacher training, thinking, how crazy is it that we learn everything in yoga from there downwards, but nothing about the 57 muscles in this area? So I had that in the back of my mind. I also did some training in face massage. And as lovely as it is giving people treatment, I wanted people to be able to do it on their own faces every day at home really easily for free. And also, back sort of 16 years ago, there wasn't that many options for the face. So whether you go down a more invasive route, whether you go down a natural route, people didn't have that many options. And I was having people come to my yoga classes and saying, Danielle, yoga's great for my body. I'm getting stronger, more flexible and more relaxed. I wish you could do yoga for my face. So it was all this combination of things that came together. And I started to do a lot of research into traditional techniques for the face. So in traditional Chinese medicine, in Ayurveda, in yoga, but also looking at the science of the face as well. How can we lift and tone and strengthen muscles? How can we relax other muscles? How can we boost circulation, work with lymphatic drainage? And I started to put together the Danielle Collins face yoga method, which at first I would just teach at the end of yoga classes. I would get feedback from my yoga clients. They would do before and afters for me. They'd practice at home. That was such an important part of honing my method as well as the research. And I've been very lucky over the last 17 years that I've been able to teach around the world. I've been able to 
help millions of people with what I do. I've written books. I do lots of work on TV and the media and apps and courses and teacher training and all the rest of it. And it's been so lovely to be able to share what I really love and what's my passion with other people as well. So hopefully I can share a little bit of that with you today. So let's just start with our first few techniques. So if you just make yourself really, really comfortable, and we're just going to start just by waking up the face a little bit now. So we're just going to take our hands and we're just going to tap very gently on the neck. So just waking up the skin, just introducing our hands to our face and vice versa. I'm going to have to work around my mic. You just go all the way over your cheeks, underneath your lips, above your lips, underneath your eyes, all the way over your forehead, just waking everything up. Let's go back down again. So just coming underneath the eyes, all the way over the cheeks, and just gently coming down the neck. Wonderful. And then let's just very lightly just stroke down the side of the neck. So we're just doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage here. So this could be a really light touch. In fact, when we do lymphatic drainage, it's a little bit better just to do that light touch. When we do the lifting massage, we can go a little bit deeper. This is just helping to drain any lymph, any excess toxins out of this area. And keep breathing here as well as you do this. And you can just gently pulse a little bit here. Wonderful, gently pulsing. Would you like a chair? Would you like me to ask for chairs? Are you sure? Well, there's yoga mats if you'd like to take a few mats. Okay, well, there's even room on the front of the bench if you'd like to come on. Plenty of room on the bench here. Lovely. So we're just pulsing here, helping with that lymphatic drainage. Wonderful. Okay, so just bring the hands down. Let's go on to starting with our forehead area. So let's just take our fingers and we're just going to work along the forehead, nice and gently. And generally, as a rule, most of the techniques I'm going to show you today, you want to do for about one minute each. And in terms of how many of these one minute techniques you do each day, it's really up to you. It depends on your time, depends on your schedule. But the key I would absolutely say is try and do something every day. So even if you take just one or two techniques away from today and think, they're my techniques, that's what I want to do. Do them every day. That's how we really get results. If you want to get in the habit of doing a regular program, if you want to do 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, absolutely you can. Lots and lots of ways that you can do that. So what we're doing here is, well, we're doing lots of things. So helping to boost the blood circulation. We're helping to relax the big muscle of the front of the forehead. It's called the frontalis muscle. It holds a lot of stress and a lot of tension. We're also stimulating lots of lovely acupressure points, which help to relieve stress, to relieve headaches. So it's a really, really soothing technique to start with for the forehead. Wonderful. Keep that breath going in through the nose, out through the nose, tuning into your face, how it's feeling. Let's just do a few more of those. Wonderful. Bring your arms down for a moment. If you ever want to shake your arms between techniques, you can do it. But sometimes your arms become quite heavy as you're lifting them up. Lovely. And then just take your index finger. We're just going to massage above the eyebrows, lift off, coming up a little bit higher, above, lift off, come all the way up to the top and lift off. Let's just do that a few more times. So doing your own rhythm. So do one, two, and three. We'll keep that going. Now our forehead area tends to be quite overused. So it's actually one of the muscles in the face that we want to try and use a little bit less. What we tend to do when we express, maybe when we're stressed, is we tend to raise our eyebrows. And what that tends to cause is those horizontal lines across the forehead area. So if we're doing these techniques, we're just starting to tell the muscle, you can relax a little bit. And we start to express more with our eyes, which means we don't tend to overuse the forehead and create those lines. And one of the big things I would say is, even though today I'm talking a lot about 
how we can help reduce lines and wrinkles. Actually, there's nothing wrong with lines and wrinkles. And I'm definitely not coming from a place where I think that we need to eradicate every line. My method is very much about just looking and feeling the best version of ourselves and just having these tools and techniques in our pocket just to help us really feel good on the inside and the outside. So just bring the hands gently down for a moment, lovely. So let's just tell that forehead to relax a little bit more. Just bring the eyes into it a little bit. So what you do is you just place, you can either use two hands or one hand, whichever feels good for you. But the key is here is just try and keep your forehead nice and still. You're going to look forward, so pick a point in front of you and see if you can widen your eyes here. And as you widen your eyes, try and keep your forehead really still. Now, you may be able to do this without raising your eyebrows at all. You may be able to really open your eyes wide and your forehead doesn't move. For most of us, our forehead wants to move a little bit, but we're trying to train it not to. And then we're gonna try and look up towards the ceiling. Again, you may be able to do it without the hands there. Well, you may find the hands there a little bit better for you. And look up and down now in a straight line. So we look right up towards the ceiling, down towards the floor. But the key is try and keep your forehead still. Now, for some of us, this will feel really easy. And you'll be thinking, oh, I can't really feel anything at all. But for others of us, we'll think, oh, actually, my forehead just goes crazy. It wants to move all the time. It really just depends on our individual faces. We want to try and remind our eyes that, yes, we can use you a little bit more and we can relax the forehead a bit. So now just bring the hands down and just see if you can go side to side with your eyes. So as I mentioned earlier, my techniques are very much a combination of the sort of modern scientific techniques and then the more traditional techniques. And these eye movements have been used in yoga for many, many thousands of years and they're very good for lots of things. They're really working with the muscle around the eye. They're working with muscles inside the eye. So they're very good for smoothing skin, reducing lines and wrinkles, but very, very good for the eye health as well. And then focus on one point in front of you again. Widen the eyes and notice do your eyebrows move. If they still do, use your hand. If they don't, you can just keep them wide. Really become aware of that muscle that runs around the eyes. You focus on that point. Take a lovely deep breath in and a deep breath out and close the eyes nice and gently. Give the eyes a little rest for a moment. Okay, so just opening the eyes up when you're ready. And we're just going to work the air between the eyebrows. So let's just start off placing our index finger between the eyebrows onto our third eye point. Wonderful. And if you like, you can close your eyes for a moment. You may want to really tune into this point. And the pressure you use here is up to you. I like to start quite gentle. And if you intuitively feel you want more, you can go a little bit deeper. As we press this point, it's really helping us to reduce stress. It's a very good one to use anytime you feel quite anxious. And also what you can do is you can just do a little massage in one direction. So a little circular massage. And we have a muscle between the eyebrows called the procerus muscle that holds a lot of stress and tension. And again, we tend to overuse. So this is just starting to relax that muscle. And you can massage in the other direction. It's great. It just feels so calming as well. And straight away, it softens any lines between the eyebrows there, which usually cause the gain because of repetitive expressions. Often if we're concentrating or thinking or worrying about something. Wonderful. Bring your hands down when you're ready. Take a breath for a moment. And still working that area between the eyebrows. We're going to use both index fingers and we're going to start to massage between the eyebrows now. So a lot of what we do around the forehead area and even the eye area is massage. We'll move a little bit more onto some facial exercises in a bit as we get onto our cheek area around our lower face. But the forehead area in particular needs to be relaxed so it really responds well to the lovely massage and the lovely acupressure. So again, about one minute. And all the techniques I'm teaching you, by the way, they're in my two books, which I'll tell you at the end where you can get this a stand here, you can get those. 
So don't worry if you don't remember these. Breathing here, feeling that muscle relax, feeling your mind relax a little bit as well. Wonderful, good. And just bring your hands gently down. Okay, let's work along our eyebrows. So two fingers and thumb. We're just going to pinch gently. So I'll just show you on one there so you can see it. I'm just pinching the edge of the eyebrow and you can do it with both. Then if you want to close your eyes, if that feels good, you can. And just hold there for a moment. Just start to feel that tension in that muscle between the eyebrows. Just starting to relax there a little bit. And then when you feel ready, start to pinch along the eyebrow. Feel like you're going right down to the muscle rather than sort of pulling the skin outwards. When you come to the end, just move your hands back to that starting position and then pinch outwards again. So this is a really nice natural lift for the eyebrows. It relieves a lot of tension that we hold in our eyebrow area as well. So again, you can do this one if you're doing it at home for about one minute. And you can do these face yoga moves at any point in the day. There's no sort of rule whether it has to be morning or evening. It's really what feels good in your schedule. Just going along gently. I have a five-year-old and a nine-year-old, so mine's definitely not in the mornings. My face yoga's in the evenings. Okay, let's do one more time going along. Wonderful. And just bring the hands down. Give your arms a little shake there. You may want to just roll your shoulders. Sometimes we can hold a lot of tension in our shoulders when we're doing our face yoga. You might want to just roll them forward a little bit, ease a bit of that tension. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll do a slightly humorous one now. It's called Flirty Eyes, and it's a really good one for helping to lift the upper part of the eyebrow. And it's very good for underneath the eyes, particularly if you suffer from hollows under the eyes. You'll also feel it working around the mouth as well. So if you make an O shape with the mouth, then slightly wrap your lips around the teeth. This is going to help better engage this part under the eye. Index fingers are coming here. They just add a little bit of resistance. You look up slightly and then you flutter your upper eyelids. And if you laugh, don't worry at all. If nothing else, you can laugh at me doing it. That's it. So just keeping that going. Now, ideally, you want to try and do this one for a minimum of 30 seconds. If you start to fatigue after 30 seconds, then you can make, you can stop and you can go up to 60 seconds if you like. Good, keeping that going, gently fluttering. Wonderful, keeping that going about 10 seconds more if you can. And relax your hands down when you're ready. Did you feel that working around here and up there? It's a good one, isn't it? Okay, so let's work a little bit more with our eye area. So let's just go simple tapping around the eyes for a moment. Now you can just use your index finger for this one. If you prefer to use middle or ring finger, that's fine. And all we're doing here is simply boosting the blood circulation. So we're just helping all the fresh blood and the nutrients and the oxygen just to come up to the skin surface. And just allow the rest of your face just to gently relax. Good. And then just gently going the other way. It's just going to help to brighten the skin. It's also just going to help with the natural production of the collagen and elastin in our skin. And this tapping is very nice to do at any point in the day, but really nice if you suffer in the morning from puffy under eyes. You can add this one and also the next technique I'm going to show you, really nice ones to do in the morning. If you use any sort of eye cream or eye gel, you can do this just after you've applied your product as well. Wonderful. So just bring the hands down a moment. This time we're going to use our ring finger. Only reason ring finger is good for this one is that we tend to drag less with the ring finger, but if it feels a bit difficult, use your index. So just come to the inner corner of the eyebrow there, just under the eyebrow, and just come underneath the eyebrows and then all the way around. And what we want here is really light touch. 
the area around the eyes is about 10 times thinner than the skin from the rest of the face. So we have to be so delicate with it, whether we're touching it, whether we're taking makeup off, whatever we're doing, really, really delicate. And also when we're working with lymphatic drainage, which is what we're doing now, the lymphatic system is just under that top layer of skin. So actually we don't want to go as far down as the muscle for this. We want to just gently guide that lymph and it'll take with it any toxins which are causing a puffiness or dark circles. And the reason this one feels so soothing is because we're also stimulating lots of lovely acupressure points which are related to um, stress. So some, some good ones here if you've got any sinus issues. And then if you just stop there at the point, just in the inner corner of the eye, and if you want to swap to index finger, you can, whichever feels good for you. You'll just feel that little indentation. That's a very nice point if you get sore eyes, tired eyes, maybe you've been using a computer a lot. It's very good if you want your eyes just to look a little bit brighter. It's a great one also if you're struggling to get to sleep or you wake up in the middle of the night, you can use this point. If anyone's feeling sleepy now, that'll be why. <laughs> and then just circle in one direction. Lovely. Keep breathing deeply, stimulating that point. And the other direction. It's a really nice point for sinuses as well. Lovely. Good. Okay, so just gently bring your hands down. Lovely. So let's move on to our cheek hair and see how we're doing for time. We're fine. Okay, so we're going to work with some really nice lifting and firming techniques for the cheeks. So the first one, you're going to transfer the air from cheek to cheek. You'll need to breathe in that through your nose for this one. So I'll show you here and then you can just join in. Now, as you do this, you can keep going with that. As you do that, if like me, as you do that, you find that you get little lines around this area, use that either one or both hands, whichever is good for you, and just smooth that area. So, and some people, as they do it, they'll think, oh, actually, I don't have lines around that. And it just depends on the way that our face is made. Whenever I do it, I get little lines. So, with our face yoga, we don't want to see any lines being created. We want the opposite to happen. So it's really good when you're doing it at home just to use a mirror and just look and just say, why oh, am I creating any lines? And if so, slightly adjust it. So keep breathing in and out through your nose with this one. Keep transferring the air from cheek to cheek here. Long, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose as you do it. Wonderful, good. See so if you can just keep that going for about 10 seconds more. Really feel those cheek muscles working, lifting, firming. And then when you're ready, just relaxing. Lovely. Did you feel that one working as well? Great. So we'll do one which is really similar. We're going to do the facial exercise, but we're going to combine some facial massage with it. So we're going to hold the air in both cheeks now. Again, breathing in and out through the nose. If you want to use one hand to cover your mouth, you can do. So I'll show you the first part. Other hand is going to be used for tapping. So we're going... And I'll tell you when to swap to the other side. I'll roughly guess 30 seconds. <laughs> Good. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Excellent. So we're really working with the facial exercise that hold the air in the cheeks. We're having to work those muscles. As those muscles build and strengthen tone, the skin attaches and lifted and firm. So really nice for lifting the cheeks. The massage helps to boost the blood circulation, so it's going to brighten the cheeks, give them a lovely glow. Let's swap sides. I reckon that's about 30 seconds. Lovely. And tapping the other side. That's it. Tapping all the way over the skin. Keep breathing deeply. Lovely. Good. You can ground your feet onto the floor a little bit if you like as well. That really helps. The more we can work with our posture with face yoga, that really helps as well. We'll talk a bit more about that when we do our neck lifting. 
techniques. It's just always everyone's favourite, the neck lifting. <laughs> Nodding away. <laughs> okay, so 10 seconds more. Good. Lovely, and gently relaxing down. Excellent. So now you've given a good workout to the cheeks. You probably feel it already. We'll do a nice little massage. So two fingers and thumb. We're just going to pinch all the way over our cheek area. So it doesn't matter too much about direction with this, but you want to go right down into the muscle. So rather than sort of pulling the skin outwards, you want to go down and really stimulate the muscle, really get that circulation going. Going and blowing. Lovely. So this is a really nice one to do anytime you want to cheat, just to look a little bit brighter, a bit energized. So if you ever feel, oh, I look a little bit tired or I just want my face to look brighter, this is a great sort of go-to technique. You can do it for 30 seconds or a minute really, really easily. Lovely. Keeping that going, working with your breath. and then just gently relax down. Lovely, okay, let's work the mouth area. So we're going to do one which works the muscle that surrounds the mouth here. So it's a really good one for helping to strengthen this muscle and then tauten the skin attached to it. So the best way to think about facial exercise is like an arm muscle. So if we were going to do, for example, bicep curls, we would build strength in the muscle and then it tightens and tautens the skin attached. And we're working in the same way with the face. So if you take the tongue and you're going to bring it around the inside of the lips, close towards the lip line as you can, three times one way, three times the other way, slower the better. So let me show you. So we go. Lovely. Now, by the time usually you get to about the second one, particularly if you are doing it quite slowly and going quite, quite close towards the lip line, you probably feel your tongue feels quite achy if you're already feeling that. Yeah, good. And then once you've done your three, go in the other direction. It's really good to actually strengthen the tongue as well. That really helps with our facial posture. In fact, I'll talk a little bit about our tongue position again when we do the neck technique. So that really helps to lift and firm the neck area. So hopefully you're near the end of your third one the other way. Good. <laughs> Take your time and then relax your mouth when you get a moment. Great. Feels hard, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next, we're just going to take our index finger. Let's just flick around the lip line. A really simple little massage. We go the other way. I put lipstick on before this, so it's probably going to be all around my face in a minute. Good. And we're just going one way, then the other way. And this is a really, really good one, again, for just helping to boost the circulation. It naturally boosts the collagen in the lips as well. So very good if you get any of those little sort of small, what they call smoking lines around the lips, which don't have to be because there's no at all. It's just very natural for us to get those. This is a really, really good one to do. Wonderful. Let's just do a few more going one way and the other way. I keep getting distracted by your beautiful baby. She's so cute. Hello. <laughs> okay, just bring your hands gently down. Wonderful. Okay, let's work our jaw a little bit now. So first of all, let's work with lifting and sculpting the jaw, but also releasing a little bit of tension. So let's take two fingers and thumb and let's pinch up our jawline, nice and gently, working all the way up and lift off and taking that again working all the way up wonderful and lifting off so what we're doing here is we're releasing a lot of the stress and tension and emotion that we can hold in our jaw area but this massage because we're working upwards and working right into the muscle as well is a really nice way for helping to lift and tone and sculpt to the jaw so if you find that, I know that I do, when I'm at a computer, I tend to hold a lot of tension in my jaw. That's a really good time just to do this. It's just making sure you've got clean hands and then just going and gently massaging like this. And the other thing you can do if you hold a lot of tension in the jaw is just work up 
And this works particularly nice if you've got a little bit of um, oil or serum or moisturizer on, because you've just got that lovely glide as you work up. And again, we're working lots of lovely active pressure points as we go upwards. Good, we'll just do a few, we won't do a full minute of this one. And then just take your index finger and just go to a little point there, just underneath the ear, right at the top of the jaw. You'll feel like a little natural indentation. And just have a little press and you may need to have a little wiggle there as well. Now, for some people that will feel really painful and really uncomfortable. Other people doesn't feel much at all. It really depends how much stress and tension you hold in your jaw. Mine varies from day to day. Sometimes I'll do it and I feel nothing and other times it can feel really tight, but it's nice just to release a bit of that blocked tension and blocked energy we can get in that area. Lovely. Okay, so bring your hands gently down. Then let's just start to bring a little bit more of a lower face lifting technique into it now. So we're going to turn our head to one side, tilt the head back gently, bring the chin slightly up towards the ceiling. And then you can take your tongue as though it's coming in the direction of your nose. So it's coming like that. And you're just going to hold there. Breathe deeply. It's nice to hold for about 15 seconds there. What you should feel is it lifting up through the side of the neck, through the side of the face. The tongue there is helping to lift the front of the jaw and you're working some of the cheek muscles. Relax for a moment, turn to the other side. Gently bring the tongue up. The chin is slightly pointing up as well. Just feel your chest area opening. The more we can have this nice open posture, the better. When we have this nice open posture, it's helping to lift the neck area because when we're in that forward posture that we often get, we're on computers or phones, it often means we get a build up of lines and accumulation of fluid around the neck. Let's turn to the other side. Let's do 15 seconds on each side again. So bring in the tongue in the direction of the nose. Holding there, breathing deeply, feel the chest open, lengthening up through the spine as much as you can. Wonderful. And then just gently turn to the other side. Tongue comes up towards the nose, gently lifting, feeling that working all the way through the neck. Breathing here and come back to center. Good. Okay, so we're going to do a similar movement. Just take care with the next few ones if you have any neck issues. Really just work to your own level with it. So we're going to turn to one side, going to bring your chin up a little bit. This time, lips are going to come together and you're going to bring the tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth and you'll feel it working under the chin. So we're going... And if you want to just place your hand for a moment, just check it, feeling it underneath the chin and you can move your hand away once you know you're feeling it. And we're going to see if we can do 30 here. If it feels a bit much, we do 30 and you can rest earlier. And we're really working here with toning this area underneath the chin. You really work, feel it working quite quickly here. And the more we can work with that tongue coming towards the roof of the mouth, the more it helps to just lift and open that whole jaw area. So we've probably got about 10 more. If you think you're near 30, you can take a rest. And then come gently round to the other side. Again, take care if you've got any neck issues there. Tilt the chin up slightly, lips together. Tip of the tongue's coming up and down towards the roof of the mouth. Wonderful. Keeping that going. Let's do, let's do 15 more of those. Wonderful, come back to centre, lovely. Okay, so let's do one which really works the front of the neck, but you also feel it working all the way around the cheek and mouth area too. 
So we're going to slightly tilt the neck back, only as far as it's comfortable for you. You're going to make a little small shape, but wrap the lips around the teeth. So you're going, but lip corners are lifting up. You're going to take your index fingers and just use them to smooth any lines that you may feel there. So sort of tautening and tightening the skin so it stays nice and smooth. And I want you just to hold there just for 10 seconds. Don't overstrain it with the neck, but what you want to feel is the cheeks are lifting up. You feel the front of the neck, that big glitters in the muscle, the front of the neck working. Relax back down for a moment, relax the cheeks, then take that again. And coming up. Holding there. Wonderful. So if we're going to hold there for about 10 seconds, lifting and firming everything. Great, and then come slowly back down, good. Okay, so just placing the hands onto the collarbone, a slight tilt back now, don't need to go too far, but it's just slightly looking up. Bottom lip's going to come out, and we're going to just hold there. Now, the reason the bottom lip is slightly coming out is you should feel it better engaging that big muscle at the front of the neck. And you want to hold there for about four deep breaths. So really tune into your breath as you do this. Really helping to firm that neck muscle, lift everything. It's also helping us just to open up the chest a little bit. Again, correct that forward posture that we all do when we're using phones and laptops and devices. So let's take another long deep breath in and a deep breath out. Coming slowly back to centre when you're ready. Just give your arms a little shake for a moment. You want to give your legs a little shake too, because I know just sitting still like this, you know, I feel like everything's getting a bit sort of stagnant. Good, lovely. Okay, so just come back to starting position now. Let's just tap over the neck a little bit. Just waking up that skin a little bit more. Wonderful. And then let's go back over the cheeks again. And let's just come under the eyes. Let's spend a little bit longer just under the eyes for a moment. And then you can go up to the temples. And just come all the way over the forehead area. Good. And then let's just do a few acupressure points on the face. So I'll just show you a few key ones that are really nice. So let's use our index finger. We're going to start on the apple of the cheek. So if you just slightly sort of pull the cheeks in and find where that indentation is, and then you can relax the cheeks back out as you hold that acupressure point. It's quite nice just to close your eyes just for a moment, unless you prefer just to look down. But just really tune inwards is the key. And pressing this acupressure point is a really renowned point for helping to brighten the cheeks. It helps the skin to look healthier and more glowing. These acupressure points have been used both in traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, also in Shiatsu for many thousands of years. And they're a real natural way to just rejuvenate and brighten the face. So let's just move on. We'll just do press, but when you do this at home, you can do massage as well. Let's go on to the point just either side of the sinuses there. Very good one if you've got a cold, if you've got hay fever. As you press this point, you may even feel like the sinus is just temporarily blocked for a moment, but you'll find as you release, really just helps the sinuses to release as well. And if you feel drawn to on any of these points, you can do a little massage one way or the other. I know sometimes intuitively it just feels like you want to do that. So really just do what feels good for you with that. Wonderful. We're just going to go up a little bit higher now, just either side of the bridge of the nose. So when you feel that nose bow, again, a really nice one for sinuses. Also very good one to help brighten the cheek area. It really helps what we call in yoga the prana, in traditional Chinese medicine, the chi. It's that life force energy, and these acupressure points really help in that life force energy just to flow through the face. Again, you can either hold, if you want to massage a little bit, you can do. Just working with whatever feels good. Lovely. And then just come onto your temples, just pressing your temples gently. Again, if you want to close your eyes, you can. 
And this is such a nice point for helping you to feel very relaxed, very calm. It's a very good one if you suffer from headaches, migraines to use. And if you want to do any little massages, you can, or you may prefer just to hold. Good, let's do two more acupressure points. Let's do a really nice one directly above the pupils, just above the eyebrows. And as you press this point, it's a really good one if you suffer from frontal headaches, tension headaches. Very good one if you get eye strain. It's a really good one just for general stress reduction. And it's also a really, really nice one just to help boost the blood circulation around the forehead area. So it just helps to brighten the forehead. Okay, so let's just do one more acupressure point now. Just use one index finger, just in that little indentation underneath the chin there. Again, again, if you want to close your eyes, you can. Holding this point. It's a really lovely point if you get jaw, <coughs> excuse me, jaw tension. And it's also very, very good just to brighten the lower face as well. So just bring your hands gently back down. Okay, so let's just release our shoulders and neck, do a nice energizing one. Then we'll do our final relaxation and then we'll awaken ourselves again. Okay, so let's just bring our chin towards our chest and just roll gently from side to side. So releasing tension in the neck and shoulders is really important. And you can do it at any point during your face yoga. So sometimes you may want to do it at the beginning so you're not starting with tension in that area. Sometimes it's nice to do it at the end if you found that tension is built up because you've been lifting your arms up a lot. Now either just stay like this or if you feel comfortable, you may want to do some full circles around nice and gently only do that if your neck feels okay to do so really slowly and mindfully we're going to do three in one direction and we're going to do three in the other direction use your breath thinking about letting go of anything you've been holding on to over the last hour throughout the day even over your lifetime, we hold so much of our emotions and our tension in our shoulders and neck area. So when you feel comfortable, you can come back to your starting position. Let's just do a little gentle twist now. So opposite hand to opposite elbow, just release our back a little bit here. And slightly look over the shoulder. Just letting go of any tension you may be holding on to in the back. Take a breath. And then go to the other side, gently moving round, breathing deeply. And just come back to centre and then just bring the hands onto the lap and just gently push the chest out, tilt the head back. So it's almost like a sitting cat cow we're going to do if you know yoga. And then you're just going to arch in the other direction, pull the tummy button in towards the spine, tuck the chin in, and just do a few of these, just releasing the spine. Everything within my method, Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method, is very much holistic. So even though we want to work directly on the face, the more we can work with our minds and our body as well, the better results we're going to get for our face, but also just the better we're going to feel generally. So these techniques are really simple, but really, really effective. And then just come to lengthen up now for a moment. Good. Okay, so just close the eyes now. Get yourself really comfortable just for a few moments. We're just going to do a little bit of a, a face relaxation before we re-energize again. So either palms facing down, or if you want to have palms facing up, that's really, really nice as well. And just go back to your breath here. So go back to breathing in through the nose, allowing the abdomen to rise. Just breathing out through the nose, just allowing the abdomen to lower. And I want you just to tune back in to your intention you said at the beginning of the class. 
Just remind yourself what it is, what it was. And just notice if you feel that you fulfill that intention. And if you haven't, don't worry at all. It can be an intention for the day, an intention for your lifetime. And then I want you to tune back into your face again. So just like we did at the beginning, just focus on your forehead area. Just compare and contrast a little bit to at the beginning. Has anything changed? Maybe it feels different in some way. Maybe it feels exactly the same. Again, you don't need to judge it. But if you can now, just relax it. So let go of any tension there. Just let it melt away. It helps to visualize a like, nice healing white light in that area. You can. We may simply just want to tell the muscle to relax. And then just relax your eye area, inside your eyes, around your eyes. And as you do this, notice, has anything changed? Compare it to the beginning. And move on to your cheek area. How are your cheeks feeling? Maybe you're still aware that you've done a little workout for them. Maybe you can feel some heat in them, some energy, that prana or chi. Maybe there's still a little bit of tension now that you need to let go of now. If there is, just give yourself permission to let go. Now your jaw. Notice how your jaw feels compared with that beginning. If there's a difference, and if there is, what is it? And just tell your jaw it's okay to let go now. It's okay to relax. And just soften any remaining tension you may be holding on to. And then your neck area. How's your neck feeling? Maybe you're aware of the energy, that life force energy. Maybe you can feel that you've released and stretched a little bit. Maybe you can still feel you've worked the muscles out a little bit as well, done that exercise for them. And now with a sense of relaxation for the whole face, just give yourself a moment and just thank yourself just for taking this time for you today to do something positive, to do self-care, and to give yourself that lovely nurturing touch you deserve. And when you're ready, you can very gently open up your eyes, give them a moment just to adjust to the light. <clears throat> just going to take a sip of water and then we'll do two energizing techniques to finish. Okay, so we're going to do my both my daughter's favourite one actually, which is called the lion pose now. So a really fun one just to release some tension, any remaining tension that we're holding on to. So we're going to inhale and we're going to tense our hands, slightly tense your shoulders too, tense the face. You don't need to screw it up, but just tense it a little bit as you inhale. As you exhale, tongue comes out, eyes open, hands open. Good, let's take that again. Let's do two more. One more time. Good. And then you're just going to bring your arms up into the air, stretch up, and then make a heart sound with the breath as you come forward. You may want to bring your arms back a little bit, come back up again, inhale, big exhalation. Two more, inhale up. One more time, lifting up. And slowly roll yourself back up.
Yeah.